Hi, it's Brent Abel here at Web Tennis. Today we're going to try a little something different for your forehand and backhand volley. The reason I had you choose whether you're right-handed or left-handed is because I want you to stand up. You're sitting down in front of your computer uh, or your phone or whatever you're watching this video on. I want you to stand up and take a couple of steps back away from it. I still want you to be able to see me, but we're going to go through a series of exercises here where it's going to look like I am your mirror image. So, for example, a right-handed player, it's going to look like I'm left-handed and vice versa for you lefties. And what I want you to do is simply copy the move that I do. The two things that I want to work on today with your forehand and backhand volleys is going to be number one is with your hand. I don't want you to ever feel that the grip on your, on your volley is with your fingers together, kind of clenched together. I see this way too often and it just doesn't work. You really want to feel that your fingers are relaxed in a natural position and that they're, they're not squeezed together. They actually stay apart and we'll do that in just a second when we get the racket involved here. But for right now, what I want you to do, again, back up away from the, from the video just a few feet so you've got enough space to be able to, you're not going to be moving right now, you're just going to be kind of mimicking and copying what I'm doing, but you still want to be able to see me as if I'm your mirror image. What I want you to do first is get into a nice kind of knee bend position, kind of a ready position for the volley. You don't know if you're getting a forehand volley, you don't know if you're getting a backhand volley. So you're really in a neutral position right here, make sure your fingers stay apart the entire time as we go through this. We're to start with the forehand volley. First thing I want you to do is I want you to point this non-racket shoulder at me. So we've got exactly the same mirror image. You can look exactly like I do on this, all right? So we're going to point and put the hand up in here. Fingers are apart. Let's do it again. Turn. Point that front shoulder. Let me hold this position right here. Check yourself. Make sure that you've got a mirror image or that I'm your mirror image of exactly what you're doing. Okay, come back to neutral. Same thing in the back end. Fingers stay apart. This time we're to go ahead and point the racket shoulder forward. Ready position. Point the racket shoulder forward. Fingers stay apart. Okay, now we're going to switch from forehand to backhand. Point, 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 point. We're pointing that front shoulder forward as if we're pointing it at the incoming ball. Our head's not doing a lot of moving. We're not over here, not doing this. We're not swaying back and forth. Everything is staying on an axis right here. Follow me. Fingers stay apart. Knees are bent. Good. Okay, got another exercise for you. Let's try this now with a racket. Exactly the same drill, trying to mimic, trying to feel the same things we did without the racket. And those two things are going to be number one, your grip. I want to make sure you don't have this, this grip where you've got your fingers clenched together this way on the handle. I really want them to feel like they're, they're, they're slightly apart from each other, the same way you felt here and here on the forehand and the backhand volleys. And again, we don't need to apply any grip pressure at all. We're not going to be hitting tennis balls obviously on this. So this is simply going to be the same exercise in terms of fingers are apart and we're going to point the shoulder. We're going to point and all we're doing here is really just getting ourselves committed to the first move of the volley which is always going to be this turn and point that front shoulder. Follow me. Let's do it slower.
Well, let me hold it right here in the forehand volley. Check yourself. Have you got the same position that I do right now? Are we truly a mirror image? Check it. If not, make, make the adjustment. Come back to ready. Same in the backhand. Okay, you can do this every day, two to three minutes, and I guarantee you, once you start to get the feel of copying what I do on this, on this turning and, ha and making sure that your fingers stay apart, they stay open, that you know, after a while you're going to feel so comfortable once you get out in the court. Obviously the next step in the progression of learning the strokes could be have someone feed you some balls. Make sure that if you're on the ball machine or someone is feeding you balls, that you have enough time to get here first, volley. Get here first, volley. You don't want to be rushing this at all. You really want to try to mimic and copy what we've been doing on this video. Okay? Hope this has helped. Any questions, any feedback, any comment, right below in the comment section. Have a great day out there.